Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Brodicus. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Blue Compass Boom Arm. And I'm going to go over pros, cons, and my real life experience I've had with the Blue Compass. At any time, if you guys want to check out the Blue Compass for yourself, there's going to be links in the description down below for Amazon UK, US, and Canada. Now let's jump right in the video. I want to stop the video right here. Uh, it came to my attention while ending this video that we got 50 subscribers on the channel. I want to say thank you very much. I appreciate it. I didn't think I would hit 50 subscribers this fast. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody subscribed, everybody that commented, everybody who liked the video. Honestly, everybody. Uh, I feel truly amazed that uh, my channel's grown this fast. Um, I don't want to take too much time out of the video. Uh, so let's jump right back into it. All right, guys, unboxing the Blue Compass in 2021. Let's get this thing open. I'm so excited. Right off the bat, they've done a fantastic job with their packaging. Everything looks nice and secured. It's made from an all metal design and it feels premium to the touch. This is one of three adjustment points and we'll go over it in more detail later on in the video. Right here, you'll locate the adjustment screw and that's what you use to adjust the tension in the arm. You'll just need a little star head screwdriver. So now let's take a look at the bottom bracket and the manual. The base is adjustable up to two inches and seven eighth of an inch. The manual looks pretty thorough and in there you'll find out more in pretty good detail about the boom arm. Now let's head on over and set it up. So here it is, the Blue Compass Boom Arm. Let's go over specs. It's 39 inches long, has a weight capacity of 2.4 pounds, and a total weight of 4 pounds. On the Boom Arm, you'll find a 5 8 to 3 8 adapter and a cable raceway expanding the tire arm with six finger clips, holding it securely. Although I haven't had any issues opening the clips with my fingers, I suggest if you have longer nails is to use a small device like a small screwdriver to pop them open. I've done a ton of research on the Blue Compass before deciding to buy it. I bought it for my personal use and I wanna check out to see if it's as bad as some of the reviews are saying. Most of the reviews were saying it had to be in an L configuration just like this. I've spent some time with it now and I found out technically it's not really made for anything other than that L configuration. And I say technically because you can adjust it, it take a lot of time to dial it in, but it is possible. Uh, just be aware that uh, you'll be adjusting that little screw at the base of the boom arm quite a bit just to get it right. I spent the first hour or two after receiving the mic to get it just right to sit under my chin, which is my preferred location of my mic. After adjusting the screw and the three tensioning knobs, longer, which should have been needed, I was able to get it to sit just right, but barely. Because if you touched it, moved it at all, bumped it, it would move out of position. My cheap $20 boom arm from Amazon can actually stretch out more securely than the Blue Compass can. It has a problem fully extending out with the Rode Podcast mic, which is only a two pound mic and the weight capacity on it is 2.4 pounds. To be fair, the mic is pretty heavy when comparing it to my newer NW700 mic, which comes in at 0 0.6 pounds. Also to note, if your desk is not completely level, then the arm will sway back and forth. So you've got to make sure your desk is completely leveled. So I had to re-level my desk. I, I thought it was pretty level, but apparently it wasn't really level. Now when I put something on it, it doesn't roll. So just make sure that it's completely flat or this will very easily, if you bump it, will sway out of the way. I think you could use tape if you know the arm is going to stay in one position. But keep in mind, make sure your desk is really level and uh, it shouldn't move on you. What are the pros? I'd say one of the pros are it can sit flush against the wall. Most boom arms can't. Uh, I think it looks sleek. I think it looks better than the old scissor style. I mean, I still enjoy that style too as well. But I do think it looks pretty sleek. Uh, the cons, the cons are it has to stay up high. I mean, it can stretch out a little more than this uh, and stay uh, where it is, but it just can't go low. My final thoughts, if you were looking for a boom arm that had great adjustability, I suggest maybe looking somewhere else like the Rogue PSA-1. Uh, if you're okay with an L configuration or something even a little bit higher, um, I'd go with this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Blue Compass boom arm. If you found this video informative, 
please smash the like and the bell notification and the subscribe button to stay up to date to more great videos just like this. I will catch you in the next one. I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. So, I don't know what I was going to say.